two things that cannot be true at the same time. You cannot be receiving a quality ballet education or coaching and be injured. Those are two things that can't exist at the same time. And I, and I feel like this should be more self-evident than it appears to be in the ballet world in general. Right? So a quality ballet education means that you are working towards achieving your potential. And you cannot do that if you're injured. It's impossible. Now, if there was occasional injury, that's another conversation, right? Maybe there's something unique about a few individual people, not bad or good, just unique, that maybe the method doesn't apply directly to or a teacher doesn't understand what the person needs. That's different. But what we have, I mean, the, the, the default s circumstances in the ballet world is students are injured, dancers are injured. Virtually all of you are dealing with injuries. And that fact discredits the teaching curriculum and the method behind it and whatever fundamentals are there or in this case I, as I know are not there. When there is widespread injury where that exists that fact discredits the curriculum and or the way it's being taught so surely there are some percentage of teachers that if given the knowledge that I have to share, the fundamentals and so forth, like a really good curriculum to teach and they, they are taught how to teach it and they're mentored and so forth, surely they could teach very, very well and be successful at it. If you, if, if you are teaching and you are not supported in that way, you cannot succeed at teaching ballet and therefore your students also cannot succeed at dancing or being future teachers or choreographers or directors or anything else in ballet. Okay? So to me this, is, this falls under kind of common sense that well you just simply can't have those two conditions at the same time. Either you are healthy, you are strong, you are coordinated, then we can take the next steps which is to um, in this specifically is to create choreography on you as a student that's how you learn how to be an artist you first have to have a strong coordinated body and then you have to have the experience of learning new choreography it's very different than copying something that already exists right but you we can't even talk about art without just having a strong coordinated body right and being uninjured this is the key so I want to leave you with that thought, and I know this is, it's, there's complication here. It's, it's not easy to take this in, but I think that this is, this is, as, this is an axiom. You, and it's worth repeating, it's why I'm repeating it. You can't be both injured and receiving a quality ballet education, which is what you deserve at a minimum, right? Now... So to me, um, a, a good strategy going forward to design one is this. You want two ways to win and zero ways to lose. And this is how I pursue things in life. It's how I'm pursuing ballet. So what does a win mean for me? A win means that you get access to quality ballet education at a minimum. So there's two ways that this can happen. There's two ways to win. One, the institutions will decide at some point to collaborate with me. Because frankly, uh, let's just use New York as an example to make it simple. They've had, what, 80 years to figure this out pedagogically, and they haven't. And the truth is they're not going to figure it out on their own, or they would have already done it. So they'll either choose to collaborate with me at some point, and then they'll get access to all of this, this curriculum and methodology, and then you will get it. Great. This would be the most direct route to what you need. The second option is, is we compete, which is where we're at right now. And, and what that means is, is not that I'm going to continue to talk about what they're doing. I think we already know that. I'm going to set an example, positive example, of, and, and demonstrate what a quality ballet education is and what the result of it is and the fact that you can actually have some fun doing it. Right? It doesn't have to be such a difficult thing. There's no reason to make a challenging subject to learn or, or, or a challenging subject challenging to learn 
So when you learn from me, as, as a student, as a dancer, it's very straightforward. You don't have to worry there isn't a bunch of stress. You don't have to figure a bunch of stuff out. I just provide it what you need in the moment and generally, and you succeed. That's how it works. And I demonstrated this already, right? Publicly with Misty. So we can collaborate, this would be ideal, or we can compete and my example will force them to make improvements. And then you'll, either way, you get what you need. The difficulty is this. I can share with you digitally like this, 80%, something like that, of my method, right? I can, you can get 80% without ever meeting me, okay? Which is really good con compared to what you don't have now. That last 20%, we're gonna need to be in a studio together. I'm talking more about teachers now than, than dance students, right? And the 20% is way more important than the 80%, but we can't even talk about the 20% until you get the 80%, which is why I'm making all this available online on our institute. So, just a strategy for life. You want two ways to win, zero ways to lose, and this is what uh, I'm offering you.